Okay, so tonight's homework is about subject verb agreement. For example, they were, he was, she has. Jordan, is this something that you want to tell the class? No, I'm just trying to talk to Katie. <laughs> okay, in addition to the homework that's on the board. Can you ask Katie why she's not talking to me? In addition to what's already on the board, I want every one of you to read the next two chapters of Lord of the Flies. Oh. Man, this will double my homework, and I got a game tonight. How about one night of game time in exchange for a class in grade in English? I'm sure your parents wouldn't mind. Jordan, leave Katie alone. You're such a baby. Leave me alone. You got us that extra homework assignment. Thanks. You're such a bully. You're lucky Mr. Walker can hear you. Yeah, quit being such a bully. No wonder Beep. you don't have Beep. any friends. I don't know what's wrong with him. I was only trying to help. Thanks, Sam. I'll take it from here. Mr. Debbie, give me a little. Jordan, talk to me. What's going on, buddy? I don't want to talk about it. Look, I know you're upset that Katie's not talking to you. But do you understand why? Look at me, Jordan. Do you understand why she's not talking to you? Hey, Miss Leo, look at my ice spikes. They're like baby glaciers, and they can stab people, and I can throw them at people because the card is, like, really sharp. I have three of them. They're, like, collectible, and they're really rare and really, really powerful. Come on, Jordan. Mr. Spinola. Mr. Walker saw Katie crying by her locker earlier today. She said that Jordan was making fun of her. It's hard making friends out here, and Katie says she's not my friend anymore. Jordan, what happened between you and Katie? I don't want to talk about it. I know that you're upset because Katie isn't talking to you. No. But do you understand why? No. Jordan, what happened? Katie asked me if I liked her new haircut. I said no, made her look like a poodle. And I mean, who wants to look like a dog? I wouldn't want her to start barking and drooling and licking hey. herself. Jordan, I can tell how you hurt Katie's feelings. What? He told the truth. What's the big deal? Yeah. Mr. Spinola, we cannot encourage this kind of behavior. We have to teach Jordan how to speak to people appropriately. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Jordan. So we we do tell the truth, okay? And the Spinolas are very honest people. But we have to pick and choose our words wisely. You know, you hurt Katie's feelings. Is Katie pretty even with her haircut? <sighs> yes. Okay, so you could have told her that you don't like her haircut, but you still think she's pretty. But she didn't ask if she was pretty. Jordan, how would you feel if someone said, you look like a poodle, especially your friend? When you tell someone they look like a poodle, they think you're making fun of them. And uh, Katie got her feelings hurt because she thought you were making fun of her. But I wasn't making fun of her. But hearing she looks like a poodle makes me feel really sad. Do you want your friend to feel sad? No. That's my Jordan. Come on. Get your stuff. Jordan, you still have to apologize to Katie tomorrow. Why? I still think she looks like a poodle. Oh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan, tell me how's it going? Rocking with the family, and you know how we rolling. We got Joe, Jennifer, and Jane. They gon' keep you entertained. Without my boy Jordan, it just wouldn't be the same. Oh, Jordan. 
a blended family, this is it Ready for the obstacles, accepting all the challenges All we see is unity, we don't see the disability Time to check it out, because all you really need is old Jordan Let's go